Terry Lam's assault on freedom, Hong Kong to install 2,000 surveillance cameras. Intro. Hey there, and welcome to Capture the Intelligence. Today we're going to be talking about the alarming news that Hong Kong is planning to install 2,000 new surveillance cameras across the city. Now you might be thinking, well, that's not so bad. Other countries have surveillance cameras too, but the situation in Hong Kong is different. This is just the latest move in a systematic campaign by the Chinese Communist. Party CCP to erode Hong Kong's freedoms and turn it into a surveillance state. The CCP is creeping surveillance. The CCP has been gradually increasing its surveillance capabilities in Hong Kong for years. In 2019, they passed a law that allowed them to install facial recognition cameras in public areas. They've also been pressuring private companies to install surveillance cameras on their property. Now, with the installation of these 2,000 new cameras, the CCP will. Will have a comprehensive network of surveillance cameras that will cover every corner of Hong Kong. This will give them the ability to track people's movements, monitor their activities, and suppress dissent, a threat to freedom. The CCP claims that these surveillance cameras are necessary to improve public safety. But let's be real, this is just an excuse. The CCP's real goal is to control the people of Hong Kong and prevent them from exercising their basic freedoms. Hong Kong has a long history of freedom and democracy, but under the CCP's rule, those freedoms are being eroded day by day. The installation of these surveillance cameras is just the latest example of the CCP's creeping authoritarianism, a pattern of deception. The Hong Kong government has tried to justify the installation of these cameras by comparing them to other countries, such as the UK and Singapore. But this is a false comparison. In the UK and Singapore. Singapore surveillance cameras are subject to strict laws and regulations. They are used to investigate crimes and protect public safety, not to suppress dissent. In Hong Kong, however, the CCP has a history of using surveillance cameras to target political activists and suppress free speech. There is no reason to believe that these new cameras will be used for any other purpose. The road to a surveillance state. The installation of these 2,000 new surveillance Cameras is just the first step in the CCP's plan to turn Hong Kong into a surveillance state. Once they have a comprehensive network of cameras in place, they will be able to use facial recognition technology and other advanced surveillance techniques to track people's movements and activities in real time. This will give the CCP unprecedented power to control the people of Hong Kong. They will be able to identify and target dissidents, suppress protests, and silence. Any voice that dares to challenge their authority. The installation of these surveillance cameras is a grave threat to the freedom and democracy of Hong Kong. We must not allow the CCP to turn Hong Kong into a surveillance state. We must speak out against this injustice and demand that the CCP respect the rights of the people of Hong Kong. We must also support organizations that are working to protect Hong Kong's freedoms. Conclusion: The CCP is plan to install 2,000 new. Surveillance cameras in Hong Kong is a clear and present danger to the city's freedom and democracy. We must not let them succeed. If you found this video helpful, remember to like, share, and destroy that subscribe button. Also, stay tuned for the latest current affairs on the Capture the Intelligence channel.